was at 20 from downtown this year. 20 of the... Oh! Vince Carter! The lob. The fans tried to ram it back. And a jailbreak for the Raptors. Counted four on one. Up to Out on the shot clock. Vince driving out over Stackhouse to the cup with a right hand. Swings it right side. Carter at the foul line. All the time oh! with a right handed monster jam. And Alonzo Morning changing a shot. This lead of eight. Miami's the largest of the game, but four, three, kid for three. No, Carter. Look out, Bryant went down. Carter to the rim. Bonato gets with a sloppy pass. Carter. It's oh! What's up, YouTube? It's Ron Mac. We're a big body. Very right, funny. Three video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, subscribe, roll the fuck again. I'm saying today, I am the building on your low court, and I'll come to y'all with this Vince Carter. Good video, yes. Sir, as requested it is today. I had a good time making this build. You know, I did not know or think that y'all would request this so soon normally this is a later request because people always forget about vc that's literally been the story of his career you know everybody forgets about his talent they just thinking about him dunking and all that but people forget that he was a 25 plus point per game score most of his years made like several time all-star definitely a first ballot hall of famer in my opinion just off of his legacy alone you know in terms of how he changed the game and changed uh canada basketball like this man was the greatest athlete on the planet at a time you know um but i think he deserves his flowers a lot more but that is what this video will do so i hope you all enjoy the bill and without further ado let's get right into the ashes i use for this vince carter video all right so i just see he's a shooting guard number 15 i made him a six foot six 215 pounds with a 611 wingspan this is all true to him true to his weight to his height to his wingspan everything i made sure it was accurate as possible with a defined body shape because yes vc was pretty defined no cap pause but as you see right here i'm going to put his driving dunk up to a 92 to get elite contact dunks then I'm going to put his driving layup all the way up to an 87 just for a uh, goal uh, fearless finisher. His close shot will be put up to 83 for 20 finishing badges. Then I'm going to put his mid range up to an 84 and his three point shot up to an 85 just so I can get a set amount of badges. You know, I was playing around with a little bit to see the max amount of badges I can get. And with 84 mid range, you get a 24, you get 24 shooting badges. So that's what I wanted. Then for the ball handling, you want to put it up to an 85 and you want the speed with ball also at an 85. For now, I'll leave the pass accuracy at 55. But but it'll eventually be put up to 56. Now for the perimeter defense, you want to put it up to an 80. You want his block to be put up to a 60. You want his interior defense at a 60. And then for his speed and acceleration, you want them both at an 80. You want his strength at a 55. You want his vertical at an 85. And you want his stamina at a 95. And that is pretty much the build. So let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know what y'all would change, what y'all you know don't like about it, what y'all do like about it. You see right here, you have extra points at the end. I would personally upgrade some uh free throw if you really want to you know so you're not just trash from free throw and then put the, uh, the rest toward pass accuracy but right here i'm just playing around with the points seeing what i can do but once again let me know what y'all think down below let me know what y'all would change what y'all would fix if this is vince carter or not or if this is carter vince like if this is just the opposite if y'all don't like the video don't tell me why you know because some of y'all do be hating i'm not lying it hurts my feelings but i appreciate it no that doesn't hurt my feelings but, for, for. but all right but as you see right here i have finishing takeovers shot clean takeovers sharp shooting takeovers and lockdown takeovers so you have a wide range to choose from i would go with finishing moves and pull up precision for a vince carter build and in the shades of 2k did me so dirty because who in their right minds would compare this build 
to Jordan Poole. What? But I see the Jalen Green and maybe like the younger Bradley Bill. I get that. But Jordan Poole is such a, that was such a curveball. Jordan Poole with a 92 driving dunk? Okay, I guess this light skin can chill, but I mean, all right, bro. But as you see right here, the badge spread is very balanced. For if you're playing next gen, remember you get plus four badge attributes. I would put them all toward finishing. And if you want to, you could put some toward defense, but there's no point since you're not going to get tier three defensive badges anyway. But yeah, just put them all toward finishing, and that will be the best move for you. Menace on defense already gives you enough defenses po defensive power already. So you should be okay right there. Now, with the build, it was freaking cracked like the way that i was moving up and on the court the first step the jump everything about it was just explosive like i was doing what i had to do and then some you know on top of that it could shoot with the 85 mid-range and the 85 three-point shot obviously you're going to be able to shoot obviously you're going to be able to drive and do what you need to do you know and take open shots and space out the floor so in theory you could honestly just be a perimeter player with this build but chances are you don't you're not going to want to and you don't have to at the end of the day you know because of the fact that you have crazy finishing crazy layups crazy close shot etc now with vc as i said earlier man's is definitely one of the most underappreciated players of all time i feel like we don't talk about his legacy as much like sure we talk about how he was what the greatest dunker of all time okay you know the greatest dunk you know champion he had the greatest dunks etc right but we don't talk about how this man was actually a great basketball player like you know, he should have won a ring. You know, there was well when he was with the New Jersey Nets, I believe he was in the finals and lost. Like, there's definitely years where he legitimately should have won a ring. And I wish that he definitely had that opportunity. But, you know, toward the end of his career, you see he didn't really get that chance to. Now, I hope that his legacy continues and people don't forget him, but it already feels like people are in a way you know, forgetting about his legacy and toward the end of his career, we're forgetting about his legacy. But I know always that this man will not just be a dunker to me. This man had a crazy pull up game, shot like 37% from three each year of his career, you know, had a crazy efficiency in general, you know, made his teams better, put Toronto basketball on the map, put Canada basketball on the map, you know, without him, chances are the Raptors may not have even been an organization. You never know. But Anyways, let me know what you think down below because I really am passionate about that. But that's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, I'm Scarborough, the 5 and I'm saying comment any bullets y'all want and I'll eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.